And then we shift the protagonist again. Who's going to be blaming us for uh, ancient catastrophes waiting to happen today? Lude. A little bit. It does seem a little bit dark. Perhaps turn on the lights or bring out a torch. Or fade to white. Or fade to white. Mm, dialogue takes so long. Contract? Contract? Insert picture of evil cat money here. Become the magical girl you always wish you could be. And then die horribly. This ain't Sailor Moon, princess. Her name's Cecilia, because, you know, no name changes today. Hmm. You know, whatever. What book? Book. Book, 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 book. This guy's a Jehovah's Witness, is he? Yep, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Wake up, bitch. Welcome back to Magical High School. Back in the days when it wasn't always a high school student, but mostly. Sorry, I had to go all the way over here to talk to you, because apparently you can't hear that other ear. So I see I was not far off with the princess crack. Well, they don't really hide it. All you have to fucking do is put books away, dude. Ma'am, lady. It's easy. You pick up the book off the floor, you put it on the shelf, repeat until finished. Nope, we're gonna rewind time. Huh. Um. That seems really fucking extreme for that. Here, take a look. Mmm, stock sound effects. <laughs> Where have I heard that sound effect before? A lot of places. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm just trying to think of one example. Use an item and I'll give you another item. You don't say. Pay attention, class. This will be important later. And by later, I mean for the rest of the fucking game. So, how is this pocket watch supposed to clean up the library? Ah. So it could have its uses, but like some kind of weird localized time reversal how does it pick and choose I don't get it we're not going to have any Dahaka issues are we no this was long before that but I'm going to do it anyway <laughs> And somehow the books are just magically fucking back. Who knows how that works. 
One book. Is that a never ending story? You can tell it's important because it has those little, whatever those symbols are. The Japanese opening and closing parentheses. I guess I'll go fucking ask people where, where the sealed library is. There's no way this could possibly get me into trouble. Just fucking wander around. Helpful. Just fucking ask a teacher. Right, hold on, I'm just gonna call your parents. Ah, uh, being the chosen one must literally be the worst thing ever. Yeah, it leads to all kinds of stupid RPG plot lines and... Mostly the, hey, you're the chosen one, so we can't help you. It's like, what kind of fucking twisted backwards logic is that? All those fucking fetch quests that could have been avoided. You were the one chosen to save the world. It's like, oh, you could at least maybe think about helping? Here, take this thing to make magic. Which I do, at some point. Eventually, maybe. Built on an ancient ruin. There's no way that could possibly come into play in the story. Really would love to know who makes those kind of decisions. I don't know, it's not something you see too much in the modern world, aside from, like, most of Chicago being built on the ruins of a former Chicago, an older Chicago. Jesus! But, like, who would willingly build anything on top of, like, an ancient burial ground or ruins or... What kind of person just goes, eh, yeah, I'll be fine. Well, when you've got a piece, uh, a piece of prime real estate, you know, just a good chunk of land that you got to build on, and there's already an, an ancient ruin there, I mean, what are you going to do? Just not build on it? And this is prime land we're talking about here. And then I was dumb and forgot I had to actually push the statues. It happens. These statues that should probably be way heavier. Yeah, it seems to me like a skinny little 17-year-old girl shouldn't be able to push, like, life-size statues quite so easily. I mean, unless they're on casters or something, which, <laughs> granted, this is the excuse they use for every pushable object in, like, Uncharted 4, for instance. Everything's on casters. Even shit that was built, like, in the 1200s or whatever. Well, they had wheels back then. Yes, go to the eternal darkness. It seems like a terrible idea. I've seen that game. I know how it plays out. And it's just like, sure, fucking whatever. Let's do it. It doesn't w end well for anybody. Seriously, like, there's one character in that game that doesn't die. Yeah, I thought that's only if you get the bad ending. I'm pretty sure even with a good ending, there's just, like, the one character that doesn't die horribly. Maybe two. So, just, just in case I need the pocket watch, but... <laughs> So, puzzles involving throwing boxes at random shit. I kind of like it. <laughs> at, at switches. At 
And then the audio got kind of desynced again. Well, it could be worse. It's really annoying, actually. I see what you mean, though. It's, uh... The rule of three. I see uh, you didn't want to uh, muddle up the video with story. Well, I literally read every fucking bookshelf in there, and then I realized, like, holy shit, this is fucking, like, a million minutes long. A capiche? Huh. A capouche? I don't know. It looks like a French word. I can't tell. Did you forget where the stairs were? <laughs> No, the game is kind of kind of weird about this. Hmm. I got kind of sick of doing that after all. And then I threw a bunch of books at fire. You just didn't see me throw the first, first two. Maybe you should try reading books instead of burning them. Or was this the aftermath of reading them? It's a dungeon later in the game that I FUCKING HATE! Well, this should be interesting. But not until, <laughs> like, the last third of the game. Can't wait to see it. Here, let me tell you a fucking story about this. I borrowed this game from Jake when I was, like, 12 or 13, and I went to visit my uncle in Florida. And I got to that dungeon, and because of the game's translation, it doesn't give you very good hints about how to proceed. So I was stuck there for, like, an entire week because I had no internet access so I couldn't ask anybody or anything. Imagine how pissed I was on a vacation when I'm trying to have fun and play a video game. I see we've uh, stumbled into a boss fight. Not to interrupt your thrilling tale of a... Uh... That's literally all there was to the story. Yeah. That was also the vacation where I bought uh, Star Ocean 2. Hmm. So it, it wasn't a total, total wash. Oh, there is that. Star Ocean 2. I bought it, like, entirely on a whim at, a at Target when my uncle went there to get something or another. That is uh, one of those games that is on the list of shit I own and have not yet actually finished. I spent over half of my vacation money on it. Oh, yeah, I vaguely remember that. I think my mom gave me like 80 bucks. Any of this was still back when games only cost 50 bucks. Well, you seem to have succeeded. And it explodes for no apparent reason. Like a Mega Man boss. But I mean, at least the bosses in Mega Man are robots, so them exploding kind of makes sense. What's well, this guy's story? We're in a book. How can I possibly argue with logic like that? And I was using fire on it. So when does a tray you show up? I mean... Melgol. Well, by a strange coincidence, sir, um... <laughs> I still don't know what the hell Stoldark is. Some kind of, like, dragon turtle thing? It looks like it. Yes, puts me on your body, a nubile 17-year-old girl. Everything begins with Lolita? What? Where is this game going? Lolithia? You got a rock! A lithia. I don't know, you're scrolling past the text too fast for me to catch it. So you just fucking disappeared in the middle of the hallway. And magically reappeared. Um, hmm. Blah, 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 carry destiny, rest of your life, so on and so forth. By the way, we're kicking you out of school. Go home. 
Except you can't go home because they're kicking you out of your hometown. It's like, fine. I guess I'll just leave. Oh, that's the dishwasher. Yes, our uh, magical singing appliances. text. You're not kidding. This text uh, moves at a rather set it pace. The path she followed in the past was guided by her surroundings. She knew someday she would have to pave her own path. So this, you know, this kind of reads like those uh, those surveys we get from customers at work because they use the text-to-speech thing. Mm -hmm. So like when you try to read it, you have to go slow because it's completely incorrect. And then... And then we hit the end of the episode. Tune in next time where we uh, have more of this. Well, that's not going to be in there because it went well past the end. <laughs>